it's Robin. I'm just bringing you a quick little bonus reading. This bonus reading is, uh, I'm using the fairy, uh, Lenormand fairy oracle cards to get an idea on who's in love with you and what they would like to say to you. What is their intentions? I've also pre-shuffled and pulled two of the romance angel cards. We have someone here who's um, cunningly devising a plan of security. They're cunningly starting to, dis they're being very clever about offering a change to you, Virgo, um, a plan. And they want to communicate this plan to you that they want to invest for the long term. That's what I hear. Who is this investing, wanting to, in love with Virgos and wanting to invest with them? What is this energy? Please show me. All right, let's see who it is. Well, we have an earth sign. This is someone watching their, uh, you know, looking back over their life and looking at everything they've got. Yes, they're devising a plan because maybe they're not completely fully abundant in order to come forward. They're still probably getting over pain. This is a water sign energy. Heartbreak. Maybe, you, maybe they're devising a plan to come back to you because of a problem. And they know that you're their two of cups. Clarify the five of cups for this person. They want to make a love offer to you. They want to come back and say, please, they're devising a plan to do it. Tell me about this, this cunning and, dis and deciding here. Yeah, they are leaving a third-party situation or something that got in the way of your relationship. This is someone wanting to come back from what I get. Three of coins, seven of coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But they're not able to tell you yet. They're not able to communicate that to you. This is uh, fire energy, emotion, fast-moving energy. Uh, they're not in a big hurry to tell you they're taking a long time, is what I'm hearing. They're taking a long time. They're strategizing. That's what I'm gathering. What in the hell is Robin? They're strategizing. So, what are they strategizing? Ending a third-party situation. Or how to quit drinking. Putting an end to drinking and recreating themselves. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Their whole goal is to bring this absolute abundance to you. To actually and probably commit and marry you. Bringing about the whole, this whole beautiful blessing of a family, a unit, financial stability, grounding. Why are they going through this transition? Because somebody withdrew their cup. Probably a water sign, honeys. I see a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces that you're dealing with that um, still is not able to make this offer yet. Why? Even though they're in love with you, they're so in love with you. They're really filling up their own cup right now. Just so you know, they're trying to heal from something. And they are finding their real happiness. You have the Ace of Wands and the page, Ace of Cups and the Page of Wands. This is a message about love and where they're at right now. So you know that you might be in a situation with somebody who loves you dearly, but is going through some kind of a change to be with you and get the victory in this com communion, in this connection with you. They want the victory with you. They want to overcome. They want you to celebrate with them. They want to be with you. Tell me about this stealth and this long-term investment. Yeah, seven and seven. That is uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. They're, they're going to be strong. They're, they're depending on your stability, too, to help them be strong. They're not going to be running around anymore. They've made a commitment whoever this is. It could be an earth sign, it could be a fire sign, or it could be a water sign. Because I don't see any swords, really. Tell me about this guy. So they're in a waiting period, but how long are you going to wait around, dears, for somebody to come through and, and show you some love? 
you're in the process of calling in your soulmate or they're calling you in the spirit realm. Prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. That's what this might be. Healing family issues with you or with their family to be with you. What is Virgo's advice here? Give me one more. Virgo. Alright, what's your advice? Take what you can. Um, your advice is to be proud of what you've done so far. Be proud of the battles you've won so far. Don't be sneaky. Be very cautious um, with your heart, with your mind, and your words. Okay? Be very cautious. That's your advice. And what else, please? Make sure you're getting good counsel. If this person comes back to you or is going through something or you're going, they've taken you some, through something and you're in the hangman state, be sure that you um, go get some good counsel. Get some, get, talk to somebody. That's the uh, Taurus card of, uh, that's usually a marriage card, but in this case, it's your counsel and advice is to seek. Seek someone out to discuss this issue. Yep. What's the outcome of this? Yep, you're just going to hold back. You're going to be like this. I don't think so right now. I, I don't think so. I, I don't feel you right now. I just don't feel you. You want victory, but I don't feel you. You've caused me a lot of grief, and I can't seem to move here with you. I can't do it. You're going to be reestablishing your your desires and dreams, and call back, call in your soulmate, your true soulmate. All right, loves, if you'd like a reading, I'm doing soulmate relationship reconciliation. Um, will they return readings for 3333? So hit me up if you want one. Love you much. Blessings.